Hi, this is Hillmar Middle School, and this is what Abbott looks like here. Welcome to our wonderful college. This is sick, bro. Sure, man. Yeah, it's so cool. Now let's get started with the tour. First, we will go to our cafeteria. Follow me, please be quiet and courteous if the class is in session. This is our cafeteria. We have Mexican, American, Chinese, Oriental, and Italian. Italian. Does anyone have any questions? What's your average fruit, food put out per month? Great question. I think about 500 pounds a week. Now let's continue on with the tour and get to the gym. Here's our here's our gym. We have baseball, basketball, football, soft. Oh, sorry, man. Not it's okay. Bad. We all make mistakes. Just silence next time. Okay. And we have a variety of sports you can all participate in, but you have to have good grades. Now, what you've all been waiting for, let's get to our sports field. After you're done visiting your college, you must create a thank you saying things you liked about it and sign your name and the date and everything that you liked about college and thank them for letting them come to your college. Yeah, look at this. Look, look, Hammerheads, line up! I hope that you guys will be very well behaved since we are privileged enough to go to University of Oregon. So everybody get on the bus. Wait a minute. Junker, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, I have three rules on my bus. My first rule is that we can you can only listen to music with two, one headphone in. My second rule is that there's no talking when we go over a railroad track. And my third rule is that you have to keep your seatbelts buckled. Junker, okay, are you go. Junker, are you kidding me again? Are, are you, you kidding me? Um, welcome to our University of Oregon. To start off our tour, we are going to the athletic center. Here are two of our volunteers. Hi. Hey. Uh, hi. Um, what position do you guys play? Um, I play back row. Um, I play front row. Why is it important to go to college? I think it's important to go to college because if you get a college degree, you can do so many more jobs than if you just have like a high school degree and it's a good experience. Um, I think it's a good idea to go to college because college gets you somewhere in life and instead of getting paid minimum wage, you can get paid way more than that. So, okay. Thank that, you. And that concludes our tour. Oh man, the trash bag ripped again. I wish I had a better trash bag. Whippy, whippy, whippy. Hefty, hefty, hefty. Next time, I'll go with hefty trash bags. Hey, Austin, how are you? How are you? Oh, my leg. Are you okay, sir? I don't know. Does this look right? Austin, put up your question. Hold on. I'm almost on level nine. No, put it away and do it now. Oh, okay. If the bone's out of skin, it's broken. Thank you, Robert. Yes, it's broken. Let me take you to the hospital. Okay, thanks. Uh, thank you for helping me. Now, explain to me what tutorial is. Okay, you have three to five questions. You take these notes that you do tutorial in Cornell note form. You have tutors to help you, and you work in a small group so they can help you with all these questions. That's nice to know. I wish I was an avid. Snuggies are not only warm and comfortable, but you can do anything and everything in them. You can jog in them. You can even play volleyball. 
volleyball in them. Right here, right here. Ow! <laughs> See, they're awesome. Get, Get your, your Snuggie today. today. Brought to you by Assured Hand Sanitizer. Kills 99.9% .9 of germs. Sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. What? <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Channel 8 News. My name is Pamela Pamsey and our topic today is going to be about all the different colors of highlighters. There are so many different colors that kids are starting to speak out in class. For example, hi girls, can I use you for an example? Yeah, sure. Okay, Brianna, you're going to go first. We are going to see if you have highlighter phobia. Okay, I need you to please choose a color. That looks so easy. My turn. Okay, Aline, your turn. Please pick a color. Okay. If you do not want to end up like this poor girl on the floor, I suggest you stick with one color of highlighter. Or if not, if you have already caught highlighter phobia, I suggest you call 1-800-555-5555 because this is really not a real disease. Ali, are you okay? <laughs> okay, class, today we're going to learn how to take corn on nuts. How many of you learned this last year? Well, since you learned this last year, how, how about someone come up and review the heading for me? Ryan? Okay, you put your name, your class, the date, and then the period, and then your objective. We're learning how to take coronal notes, so it's coronal notes, and then WS 1.3, which is coronal note, seventh grade coronal note taking. Thank you. Who would like to give an example of what you should put as questions on your coronal Angela? question you use explain, define, list, compare, and contrast, or clarify to make a question. And since we're doing notes about note taking, you should put explain how to take, no, how notes could help you take tests. Who would like to explain how we would write a note? Gabby? You could put these notes help you study on a test. Or notes um, help you on homework. Who would like to give an example of how we start a summary? When you're done with all your notes, you can then you do your summary. You can start like I learn or these notes were about. Good job. Okay, who would like to give us our second our ending to our summary? Jasmine? In Socratic seminars at our school, we get together to share what we think about an article, but today we'll be debating. Now, they will discuss to you what avid and not avid students are like. How do students have a higher possibility of picking the correct prompt for themselves? We are more organized and have better grades. We are unorganized, sometimes even have bad grades. Okay, today you will be introduced into Socratic seminar and philosophical chairs. Do any of you know how to do philosophical chairs? No? Okay. First, you need to be sure you understand the topic, which is should students be allowed to use cell phones during school hours. Then you need to listen carefully while others speak, even if you don't agree with them, and one person speaks that time. Also, you have to summarize briefly what the person before you has said. There's a yes side and a no side. We'll start with the yes. Gabby? I think students should be allowed to use their cell phones during school hours because they would be able to look in the internet definitions and words they don't understand. Okay, now the no side. Kayla? Um, Gabby said that if students could use their cell phones at school, they'd be able to look up words that they don't know. But I think that uh, cell phones shouldn't be allowed at school because people can, can lose them or they can get lost. Okay, good. That is how you do those cell phone chairs. Good afternoon, students. Before we begin, 
I'll write down the agenda. Let me take roll and then we'll get started with our with today's activities. Abby? Here. Vivian? Here. Cerlo? Here. Marcella? Here. Okay, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to read to you this book, and with the paper I'm handing out to you, you will make a one-pager. Yes, Abby? What is a one-pager? A one-pager is a paper including the most important parts in the story that usually tell a message and includes your own personal response. Okay, now the book is called Turtle Fly South by Chris Hudson. Okay, now take two quotes from this story, uh, draw, your, draw an illustration that ties into the quotes, and write your own personal response. Be sure that it's neat, colorful, and includes the author's name. Yes, Muddy? What is it do? It's due next Monday. Hmm, very nice, Maricela. Vivian, Zerlo, okay. <gasps> oh my gosh, Abby, this is amazing. Look, notice how this one pager is colorful, neat, has two quotes, a um, personal response, includes the title and author's name, and how it takes up the whole page. Brought to you by Hillshaw Farm. When I say Hillshaw, you say farm. Hillshaw Farm. farm. Go, go meet. Go meet. <laughs> Hello, students. Hi. Hello. Um, today we're going to learn how to do a college letter. As you can see here, um, I'm going to give you some examples of a college letter. colleges at this, the one that you guys are going to be researching in a moment. Right here, you guys are going to write just a quick summary or something that you guys would want to send to your letter of information about it. Right here are some things you're interested in, and you're just going to write your last name. Does anybody have a question? No? Okay, please partner up and take out your computers. Here's yours. Mm -hmm. Here's yours. Mm -hmm. And anyways, please don't lose them and give them to me when you get them. 